This marmot mother rests peacefully on a boulder. It nearly looks like she's on an observation tower. Marmots like to find a place with a good all-round view. They hardly have any time to enjoy the wonderful view because they use the lookout to see approaching dangers in good time. Protected by their mother's vigilance, the young venture out of their burrow to make their first experiences. At the age of 40 days, the three pups are finally old enough to play outside under their mom's supervision. You can already identify the behavior of the older marmots in the pups' play. They wrestle and chase each other around but they also roll on their backs and groom each other. During these activities, they test their own limits. They also gain experience in dealing with conspecifics and try out social behaviors. Marmots usually don't eat stones. But our young marmot is very curious and tries to get to know everything in a playful manner. Young animals have an innate curiosity and willingness to gain experience. They get to know the environment through testing and trying. The marmot nibbles on the stone for a long time. Smelling and tasting helps the young marmot to gain new impressions that'll be quite useful to the animal later in life. Another one of the siblings is also busy learning new things. While playing with roots, it learns the proper coordination of its movements. During playful activities, the animals train their slowly maturing behavior. A behavioral scientist once compared the totality of innate movements to a shelf full of tools available to the animal. The marmot learns to use its movements in all kinds of situations while playing. Our marmots experimentally explore the connections between their own actions and their environment.
Playing around with inanimate objects of their environment is just as important for their later life as the contact with conspecifics and the training of their behavior. Every now and then, one pup climbs up to its mother and urges her to join in the fun. But today she's too sleepy. She patiently endures the persistent requests of her pup. Even though the marmot mother can't bring herself to join the game, the close contact already gives the young pup a feeling of security, which is important for young mammals in order to thrive. Young marmots really like to play a game called King of the Castle. This is less of a fight and more of an assertion game, just like the wrestling games of the adults. The rules are simple. One of the pups asserts himself on an elevated place as the king. The playmate must now try to ascend the throne by pulling or using different tricks. This behavior can be recognized as a game because the king of the castle gives up his role almost voluntarily every now and then. It is an assertion and trial of strength for the sole fun of it. During their games, they're also practicing social contact and the reduction of aggression. That's why playing is important for young animals. Young marmots are tough. Sand in their eyes doesn't bother them. It looks like the pup seems to regret that its sibling isn't coming back to play some more rounds. The marmot mother is once again the victim of the pup's constant playfulness. The pup's games with the adults are different from those with their siblings. It would be unthinkable for its mother to play the king of the castle. The parents usually groom their pups instead of playing with them. The mother doesn't respond to the constant requests to play. She's now grooming her pup which is part of the social behavior we've observed between adult marmots. As summer progresses, eating becomes more and more important for the marmots. The fat reserves in their body must be replenished for the upcoming hibernation. The full-grown animals, which weigh a good 7 kilograms, eat up to 1.5 kilograms of plants daily. For growing pups, this value is almost twice as high in relation to their body weight. They still have to grow and build up fat reserves. Sometimes the marmots hold their food with their front paws. However, they usually eat by grazing the herbs and grasses directly from the ground. Marmots are large ground squirrels. They belong to the rodent family and eat grass and many types of different herbs and flowers. The golden eagle is the predator that marmots fear the most. He only has a chance of catching prey in a surprise attack, but today he was spotted in time. 
The marmot's warning whistles alert the whole colony. Their alarm system works perfectly. The marmots can get to safety just in time. After the danger has passed, the animals are still flustered for a long time.